No Offence But, where we discuss the uncomfortable topics, drop the truth bombs and have the raw and real conversations. This podcast is sponsored by Wear Dead Stock, selling hand-picked vintage new and dead stock clothing items. We're also sponsored by Veggie Crush, a healthy vegan and vegetarian meal prep wellbeing business in Bedford. Don't forget you can now sign up to our Patreon where you will have access to extra footage, discounts and offers, connect with other listeners and get involved in the show. So I just had an onion bhaji sandwich. I'm not going to lie, it's a bit of a game changer. I don't like onion bhajis. They're weird. What are they even about? F- fucking onion. Have you ever tried one? Yeah. It's just like crispiness, the goodness. I don't know, I quite like onions. I love anything like pickly, oniony. I love raw onion, um, but I don't like, it's it's, it's the crispiness for me. So I, um, there's a recipe, I don't know what's in it, whatever, but... Leon would always sprinkle crispy little onion pieces on top of it. That always used to spoil it for me. Yeah. See, that's how most people react. I don't like the crispy onions. I'm not here for it. I had a boiled oh. egg. So we're going to smell delightful in here at yeah. the end of this session. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, our poor producer. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like, girls, what the fuck? So, um, okay. So season one. Let's get straight into it. Yeah. Season one, I think it was like episode three, we talked very openly about the thruples and open relationship. Absolutely. We and did. I think like, I, I know for me talking now, I'm very like different person to what I was in season one. And I think the same for you as well. Like we've grown a lot through the episodes and have different viewpoints now. Let's talk about open relationships. Yeah. But I feel like I want to focus on kind of like what you learned or did it, do you think it affected your relationship and where you are today? Oh yeah, without a doubt. Not knowing at the time that this is where this was going to end up, it did. So, I mean, for those who maybe haven't caught up or watched or know what we're talking about when we talk about the amount of level of depth and information we put in at the beginning to Mm -hmm. talk about this. So in my, with my partner, in a past life, we definitely had a very, very open relationship. It started as um, just a, let's go and see what the fun and all the jazz is all about, which I completely appreciate isn't for everyone. Mm. Not everybody gets that. But I think a lot of people think, oh, my God, it must all be about fucking how many people you're going to have sex with and all that shit. But it never really was all about that. What well, was it for you then? For me, do you know what? It wasn't about sex for me because I never felt not satisfied with the sex that we were having. Mm -hmm. It was always great. It was always on point. So it's not like I was out there looking for more sex. I, I don't believe maybe as I'm maturing, it's changing, but I never used to believe that one person can be everything for someone forever. Mm -hmm. You're going to need some times where somebody's a bit laid back, but if that's not your partner's natural default, you're going to struggle. You're going to need somebody who's maybe a bit more upbeat and energetic. But if your partner's not like that, you're going to struggle if if they're going through shit. I totally respect and felt we shouldn't be restricted to just the one because that's an awful lot of pressure to put on one person to be your all all the time. Was that your view or was that what he would have said to you in the beginning? I feel and like- And you kind of like, oh yeah, actually that makes sense. It was more my view. Okay. And cool. he was more the, okay, that makes sense type yeah. thing. But I think a lot of people think it's just about going out, banging, having as much sex as you can. Naturally. It actually really wasn't right. for me at all. Um, I think naturally for guys, he clearly took advantage of that and was like, oh my God, this is great. We can Mm. see other people and all of this. And I was also okay with that. But I think my viewpoint now is slightly different. Now that's not me saying I wouldn't do an open relationship again, or it's a bad thing or anything like that. But I just think mature maturity wise, I've seen a lot of the things where it went wrong Mm -hmm. and where it can fall apart. Mm -hmm. So my thing was when we spoke about this in previous episodes is I feel like to have an open relationship, you have to be in a really strong, solid yeah, place. good foundation. Either that or you're just fuck buddies and no one cares. Yeah. It's one or the other. Mm. You can't be cagey. You can't be on the rocks. You can't have insecurities. You can't have anything like that and do it and expect it to be fun. Mm-hmm. So I think throughout, in the beginning, it was amazing, great, fucking fun. No one really Battered an eyelid or How cared. deep were you again into your relationship when you started introducing this? <sighs> Do you know what? I reckon about 
five years maybe okay so, so it deep. wasn't proper yeah. foundation yeah it weren't immediate because mm. i think if you're doing that immediately then you're probably just fuck buddies you, yeah. you don't really have a relationship that's just where you guys start yeah i think it was about five years and i think for me on reflection what i should have or would have liked to notice sooner you know that what's that ad when the fun stops stop I don't think <laughs> I saw that quick enough. I just saw uh, the Pringles advert, one pop and you don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. I don't know what advert you're on about. <laughs> it's like gam- gambling away when the phone oh, stops. Oh, okay, okay, stop. hey, you, hey, you, hey, you. I-, I think I should have spotted that sooner in the relationship, but I'm not sure I did on time. And there was also, I think, a part of him that was like, oh, I'm not happy or I don't feel secure right now or I'm going through some shit and this is not necessarily the path I want to continue. But then I also think there's a little part of me that's like, yeah, but I get to bang other women. So Mm. maybe I should just hang in that type of thing. I've learned so much. It's I've learned that I can be quite closed off and unaware of other people's feelings. Mm. And that's just I need to work on that. Because looking back, reflecting, there were definitely times where we probably should have been focusing more on just us, Mm. but we weren't because, you know, we wanted to have the fun. We wanted to do the wildness. Because it's almost like a bit of an escapism. Like if there's shit going on in your relationship, you're like, "Mm, I'm just going to see matey boy because you don't have to deal with the stuff that's going on at home. So in effect, is it making you like become further and further apart from each other? I think in the end it did. Yeah. Not initially, but in the end it did. And also we had a lot to combat and deal with. Like, I didn't have guys that I went to see. I went to, had more connections with women. Mm -hmm. And I think obviously he only ever had connections with other women. And to me, at some point, there was some of his connections that I thought. In it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Not necessarily that he was in it. He was in it for the wrong reasons, but I think maybe the other women were. Mm. They were trying to make it something it wasn't, trying to build something that it wasn't, almost like trying to move in on my territory. Because there's got to be some serious honesty from the get-go, like, with that. Because if you agree, okay, so we both agree, there's no, like, you don't want anything emotional from it. It is just the, I guess, connection or sex or something like that. To have that conversation either side to you know you have an open relationship but you're basically saying to that person that's coming into the relationship do you know what i can't really get that close for you but you're yeah. just here as like my side piece yeah. you ain't the main one just you are know you're my the side popcorn piece. chicken uh, yeah you are the fucking what is it um domino's dip you know that big fucking expensive one yeah. pound fifty dip yeah um yeah of course it takes a lot of You've, you've just got to be honest with it. And a lot of women, he would say, just wouldn't believe him. Sure, you're lying. I bet your wife is at home. She has no idea you're sat here yeah, having this conversation common, with me. Isn't it? Didn't believe him at all. Or would blatantly go, actually, I'll, I'll definitely catch feelings. I don't think I can do this. Mm. So people were either completely standoffish and not interested in it all, or just thought it was a bold faced lie, which is fine. I get that. But I think to me, I talk a bit about the connection, the emotional, it's not just about sex, but it's how far does that connection go? Mm. Like there was a situation where it was kind of like this person, a another, we'll call her, she was just so extra. It was, good morning, handsome. How are you, handsome? Mm. Oh my God, I hope you have an amazing day. You make me feel so special. She was sprung. (laughs) Yeah, you make me feel so special. You make me feel so alive. I've never, and then I was just like, what the fuck is this shit? So the jealousy kicked in. I don't know that it wasn't jealous. <laughs> uh, shut the fuck up. Holly. That's jealousy to me, girl. No, 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 no. I don't, I didn't feel, I just thought the fucking audacity, <laughs> it was more, know your place, bitch. Stop trying to act like Queen B because you ain't. Stop that. What is that? But Why are you sending those? that's jealousy. That's, that's you is like it? saying, yeah, I think so. Like someone's I saying to your man. Right. So someone's saying to your man, hello, handsome. Like, that's your position of where you would do that, right? So it's like your boundary was coming up. I'm going to call you out on this stuff. No, no. Nah. We're, we're going to have an nah, honest nah, chat. No, 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 no. Look, the hello, handsome didn't bother me. It was the, you make me feel amazing. Oh, shut up, bitch. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? Okay. That's, that's not... I didn't mind. He's handsome. Yeah. I low key agreed. It wasn't the hello handsome. Hope you, the hope you have an amazing day made me feel uncomfortable. I'll be honest. 
<laughs> to be fair, everyone would have been like, like bobbed by the handsome, but you're just like, have an amazing day. That is <laughs> what triggered me. Like, strange, what do you mean, stranger. bitch? What do you mean you hope he has an amazing day? That's not what you're here for. Get in your corner. And it was the whole, you make me feel alive. You And I could just so see clearly this woman was fucking spiraling into a shit show of convincing herself she's in a relationship. I was just going to say, so really you could see through the bullshit. Yeah, of, that's this not your place. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. was trying to build something. She was trying to take my man. Mm. She was trying to build something. And I just thought... So how deep was this sin? Because let me ask you, if we take it right back to like when the first... Who got into the open relationship first? You or the ex? Me. Oh, I don't know. It's hard. Because what I want to know is, I'm sure other people would want to know, is how did you feel coming back to like your, what do you call it, a marital bed? Or you're like the bed where you two are in and it's like, they don't know. And it's like, do they ask? Oh, how was your night with so-and-so? Like, would you want to know? Yeah, for sure. There was never any secrets. Okay. And I, and for a long time, that was part of the excitement for me. Okay. Because like going back, like, yeah, we did this. Oh, and yeah. We did that. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a dirty fucking pervert. I wanted to hear all the details. Does that, that then make you want him more? more? Yeah. Oh, then he, and the same with him, him with you. Like, I'm going to show you. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm, I see that. Okay, so I see fun. that. So that aspect of it never actually intimidated me. Mm -hmm. I really, it kind of gave me like a little kick, like a little buzz. Yeah. And, but that was more like if he went off with someone else and then came back, that was my excitement. Like, oh. Give me the deets. Give me the deets. <laughs> what, what was she happened? wearing? <laughs> yeah, all of that kind yeah. of stuff. I really loved that. And I think as long as the other person understood the barriers and where it stands, because let's be real, ultimately, this is my man. He's not yours. Mm. Okay. If you're sad and upset, he's not going to come over and give you a fucking cuddle because you've had a bad day. That's not what this yeah, is. Yeah, that's the boundary, right? That was the boundary. And I felt like with this A and other... That's where it sort of started to head. Mm. Oh, Boohoo, I'm so depressed. Da, da, da. And there was like occasions where we like sent flowers to her work. I was reeling. Did you get the flowers? No, he sent her flowers to her work because no, she was I'm having saying, a bad did day. Did you get flowers? No, I yeah, wasn't getting no, no damn flowers take. at that time. Piss take. <laughs> Seething. Seething. And that's when my bitterness started to grow a little bit. Like, okay. hang on a minute. I'm trying my best to stick to boundaries. And y'all are clearly not mm. you're clearly not I mean don't get me wrong I was always kind of in the know I always had access to and then I'd like there was like I had a rule like no messaging after 11 I mean even 11's late babe I'd have been like after nine I'm telling you girl there was messages after 11 mm. and it's just all those little things but when I rather than having a mature conversation and being like I'm not feeling this actually I did try like I actually had a conversation and I was like this is all seeming a bit a touchy, feely, lovey dovey. Like, what is this? How did he respond? Um, I think he was, he was actually really honest. If I actually think about it, he was like, yeah, that's fine. But I feel like you're not, he felt like I wasn't very emotionally open at the time. Mm -hmm. And the only way he could get, <laughs> I, I hear that. <laughs> anyway, you that. get that. This woman was willy nilly giving it away. Emotions, just dropping them, dropping them, dropping them. So did that make you then feel like you were kind of competing with your emotions at any point? Did you think, oh, I need to level up or make you want to change? Because ultimately you don't want to lose yourself or change in this whole situation. But I bet it's very easy when you're almost comparing yourself to someone. Did I you drank. see pictures and stuff of her as well? Yeah. How did that make you feel? Just basic. I didn't feel no way about it. <laughs> <laughs> basic absolutely i was a little bit disappointed oh my gosh i was like mm. so okay i wouldn't say bang she i'm just saying basic. say like i don't know beyonce out here or like i don't know whatever how would that have then made you feel you might that would have been a different level of jealousy naturally i would not have been happy about that if okay. she was more than basic and starting to creep in with all them emotions yeah i'd have been raging so did you have to like almost accept who he was talking to would you go through like here's my here's my list of four this is what she's looking for this is what she looks like and then you'd be like yep yeah, nope yeah i would definitely give my opinion okay i didn't have a say in it look i can't tell the man who the to date or who to suit that. exactly yeah, that yeah. but um going back to the point i think for <laughs> It got icky for me. It got icky when the line was crossed. She was very, very basic. So I was mad as hell anyway because the lines were being crossed and I felt like I wasn't being listened to. Mm -hmm. But you said, you asked me earlier, did that then make me want to change who I am, become more emotional and try and connect? 
unfortunately then, no. Okay. I just dug my heels in. I thought, well, you think I'm cold? You think that person's going to satisfy your emotional needs? Go on then. I dug my heels in and that wasn't mature. I could have taken a step back and gone, actually, he's crying out here. He's telling me he's getting this emotional connection from someone yeah, else because yeah, yeah. I'm not giving it to him. And I could have, should have maybe softened and said, okay, let's pause. I'm sorry, I'm not meeting that need. Let's just focus on us. I'll try, but now, nah, not me. Does it not just like make you realise where there's gaps in your relationship with each other? Of course it does. But my problem, as I said, I've learned is I was seeing that gap as a personal attack mm. rather than what it was, a gap. And actually that's okay that you are going to have gaps in your relationship. Like you said right at the beginning, you're going to get different things from different yeah. people. But I feel if it was me, I'd be like, oh, well, she's doing this, then I'm going to have to do it better. And then I'm doing this. Oh, I'm going to have to do that better. And I would almost, I know I'd be comparing and then trying to like. <sighs> nah, I'm not competitive like that. Mm. I, I think to my stance, I totally get what you're saying. If she was doing something, did that make me want to step up? No, it had the opposite effect. I'd go, well, if you're so happy then, then you should probably stay there. Mm. But that's my, that was my stupid, stubborn. Avoidant. Exactly. Put the barriers up. Well, you think she's so fucking great. Go on then. See how your life ends up without me. And that that's not right. And I know that now. And also like there was a lot of other stuff going on with work, with life, his personal, where he was at in his head at the time. And I could have responded softer to it. Yeah. I didn't. Not because I was going out of my way not to. That's my default. That's my nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see it now, but then I absolutely didn't. I just didn't see it. I just didn't care. So I think for a lot of people who assume it's all about having a great time and having sex, it's actually not. Yeah, it sounds a lot more emotional and a lot more It is in depth. It's more for me, I think it's just women are beautiful. I find women really, really attractive. And did I I had an opportunity where I didn't have to just cheat or hide it mm. or go behind back. I could freely say to my partner, oh my God, I'd love to date other women or I'd re that woman is really where, hot. Where did you find your like people? Would you go on dating websites or is it just kind of like from a night out or? Nights out mainly. There was, there's been a couple, you fucking fab swingers is the pits. That's disgusting. <laughs> if anyone's thinking about it, just don't because it's oh, troll after troll after <clears throat> troll. It's not cute. So it would be, going out and people and networking. And once you speak to one person who's like-minded, they introduce you to the next and the next and the next. So, and it's just up to you how far or not. And sometimes, you know, you've got people who are in the lifestyle and have open relationships, but you're not in any way, shape or form attracted to. Mm. You go out as friends, you go to the pub, you have meals or whatever. It's not always about that, yeah. but it's just having that freedom and knowing we can have this open conversation and no one's going to judge us for it. Yeah. And judgment is a really, really big thing mm. out there. Pe people don't get it. They don't understand it. They have their own insecurities and jealousies. And more often than not, people think if you're doing that, something is broken. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. I remember having this conversation with a guy I was dating and we were talking about threesomes and stuff. And he was just like, yeah, if you're at that point, then there's obviously an issue, like a deeper rooted issue that you need to fix. <sighs> Naturally, I think that's what people think. Yeah, like, oh, it makes sense. Oh, he's not good enough in bed for her. Like she's not getting satisfied. That's always yeah. the first thing. So and it's I, almost... I wholeheartedly believe 90% of open relationships are because somebody's not sexually satisfied. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. you that's what I've experienced and seen. It just wasn't the case in our situation. Mm. It was more, let's see what's other, let's explore, let's Pushing have the fun. boundary. Pushing the boundaries, yeah. having a bit of fun. But absolutely, I agree. 90% of it is that um, people just kind of want a cheeky bang with someone else. You just don't want to be upfront about it. Mm. You don't want to be honest about what's missing in the relationship and stuff like that. Um, my biggest regret, I would say, is seeing it start to go downhill. Yeah. And instead of reacting and changing the situation I dug my heels in what point did it like start to go downhill was that when it was a case of he was kind of overstepping the line and doing things that you didn't like or yeah I think so but then for so long I ignored it because I didn't want to be labeled the jealous one mm. and look I know I know you're saying oh that's jealous I don't connect no, that gonna, feeling with I think there's loads of different jealousy and I'm not even cussing you for being jealous because actually I think any one of us would have some sort of yeah. jealousy like, it was like the audacity how dare you yeah that's what it was yeah, for yeah, me yeah I didn't feel like it was jealousy for me it was just like the freaking or 
audacity. And he, I couldn't really even be mad at him mm. because I feel like she initiated the over boundary types of things. Would you ever go out for, because... I think I said on the see, that season one, when I was dating, I had a guy that messaged me on the dating app and he was like, oh, just to let you know, I'm looking for an open relationship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wouldn't be anything commotional. You'll probably come on holiday with like me and my wife and her partner. So they were both in open relationships. Would you ever do anything like that with your girl or her, your like um, his girl? Yeah, I think I much <clears throat> prefer that now, actually. Did you do that? I never had. We never did a couples couples thing. I wonder how that would have turned out if you did that. I actually think I would prefer it. Yeah. The balance seems right when it's a couple and a couple. And you know them then. Exactly. You feel comfortable. You and know them. They know the line. Yes. Um, the thing I wouldn't do again is you go do your thing, I go do mine. Mm. That is not cohesive mm. and it, is, it doesn't feel together. Mm. Although in the beginning it was great. I got the thrills. I was like, oh my God, tell me all about it. But... <laughs> And in the long run, you're just further drifting apart. Yeah. But there is a couple of couples. We know two couples actually who are open and on the scene. We're not attracted to this couple. It's not a sexual thing, mm -hmm. but it's the balance feels good. And if it were to be like that, it'd be way more comfortable. And I wouldn't be looking over my shoulder thinking, what's this woman doing? Is she extra texting him today? Or, and vice versa, he wouldn't be thinking what's really going on mm -hmm. with them behind my back or whatever. I think that's probably a better balance that I would go for. Mm -hmm. But I think we put a poll up in stories and stuff and we ask people, what do they want to know? The biggest response was, how do you stop yourself catching feelings with the other person? Yeah. Your intent has to be right. I mean, women I are naturally more emotional anyway. Of course <clears> we are, <throat> but I think your intent has to be right. If you go in it, because you're missing something for your partner. They don't give you enough compliments. They don't make you feel good about yourself. They make you feel like you're missing something. Yeah, of course, when you go to this next man or woman who's going to make you feel amazing, pay you all these compliments, and that's all you are to them, you get to go to that person. You get to be completely free. You're not a mom in that moment. You're not a wife yes. in that moment. You don't have to play this part. You can literally go to this person's space be whoever you want. You make up a whole personality. <laughs> oh, ego, oh, yeah. ego. You can have an alter ego. And I think it's so easy to then fall in love with that. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is that shit ain't reality. Yeah. So you can quite easily fall into it. You catch feelings, but that's not reality. And I truly believe that intent is everything. Mm. If you go into an open relationship and you only intend to have your action side fulfilled. Maybe your partner doesn't want to go rock climbing or go for long hikes and whatnot, but you know someone who you connect with that you can do that with and get a little bit frisky. Mm. Your intention needs to be solid. If you're going out there because you don't feel your partner's meeting a need, it, you're going to fuck it up. You're absolutely going to fuck it up and it's going to blow up in everyone's face and you're not going to be able to control what happens thereafter. Knowing what you know now and what you've experienced, how would you do it again if you would do it again? Would you actually do it again? I do it again. <laughs> you would? Yeah, I think I That's would. That's interesting because based on where we've gone, I just didn't think you would say, yeah. I would do it again, but I would, the thing I would change is really have those serious check-in conversations. Like a weekly or? Weekly, monthly, however, feels right. Mm. But don't assume everything's okay because it might not be. And I very much love to put my head in the sand and assume everything is okay. Well, if you haven't given me bad feedback, then it must be good. I suppose it's like so tricky as well. Because imagine like turning around to your partner and being like, I'm really uncomfortable with that. <laughs> but they know that there's nothing wrong with that. And you're creating this story, this narrative in your head. You've got to trust them wholly. Because if you yeah. got in the way and you were like, I don't like this. You can't do that. She can't text you this. Can like, it takes the enjoyment out of it for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Those stupid, I say, see, this is another problem, rules and boundaries. In the beginning, we were quite flexible and fluid. We didn't have that rules and boundaries conversation. And there was potentially things spiraled a little bit because we didn't have that. Yeah. And I used to use that phrase. But what's the point? The rules takes all the fun out of it. Yeah. And I guess, again, it's, it's a level of maturity and not mm. really understanding other people's emotions or how it makes them feel. There was 
looking back a lot of it that was i i i me 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 on my behalf mm -hmm. don't want to have the conversation about the rules just do you you know and if it's going wrong i'll let you know but of course i never would and vice oh, versa okay. so the only thing i would do i would do it again i'm never i'm never gonna say never because i think naturally it's who i am do you know <laughs> She's what i a mean little freak and she loves naturally <laughs> it's, it's fucking who i am like it's yeah. in me i think I could happily live and be in a relationship with one person forever. I know that now. Mm -hmm. If you'd asked me this two years ago, I'd have gone, absolutely not. I can't. Oh God, one person forever. <laughs> no way. That would have really bothered me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I feel in a place where I actually could through choice. Yeah. But equally, I would have that relationship. But those rules and boundaries and conversations are really important. So you good. can't ignore them. You just can't. Do you feel like more people now more than ever are going to start getting into like more polyamorous relationships and more open relationships? Because I was listening to something earlier with like Paul Brunson um, from Celebs Go Date and yeah. absolutely love it. Like following him on Instagram is just so insightful of like how the UK population thinks around relationships and dating. Um, and he was just saying like Gen Z are just so non-judgmental. Yeah. Won't, 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 won't won't go on a second date with somebody just because of how they look. Like yeah. it's about how they're really secure open. people make them feel now. And also, and I just feel like they've got a different yeah. way of thinking. And Gen Z are uh, compared to our generation and the ones before. So what are we millennials? We're millennials. Yeah. And then the boomers, all of that. Yeah. Gen Z are more likely to date outside of their race as well compared oh, wow. to us. Lot. Yeah. I think we're so dogged and stuck in our ways. Gen Z are really opening that up. Do I think it's going to become more, common yes but potentially for the wrong reasons i think it will become greed, more common like for the just greed selfishness people taking advantage of somebody who loves them um just thinking well i'm gonna fuck whoever i want mm. because we're in an open relationship and this is what it is this is yeah. what you signed up for i, I think, think you gotta look at people as a character ain't you like yeah. what's your real true intention and be able to read that i think a lot of people are going to use it and take advantage just to get to bang other people and if your man has sent you this yeah <laughs> look you into know why it properly yeah. look Absolutely. into it i do think like it's huge in america isn't it polyamory and all of that kind yeah, of stuff massive and whilst i see the benefits i don't always see that everybody is winning from it yeah there's usually a very a controller mm -hmm. there's usually the one who decides Yes and the no. And to me, if it's That's not equal, not cool. if yeah. it's not equal, what the heck are you even doing? Mm. And I think I got to the point where I thought, right, this feels off balance and I don't like it. So when did you agree to stop? Because obviously it's not been up to from when I know you. Mm. And was it a, just a clean, like, sit around the table discussion? This is making me unhappy. Um, I don't know that we ever had that conversation I'm very lazy. I don't really like to make a lot of effort anyway in general. So it's not like I had a another on the go all mm. the time. I didn't. I'm lazy. I don't. If you're not going to pursue me, then it's done in it. Like, yeah, you're cool. So it was never really a thing that I needed to press stop. It was more a thing that I felt he should have pressed stop. I didn't have much involvement in when that happened. I just kind of let him do it in his own time. Mm. Again, potentially another mistake. Perhaps mm. I should have insisted and said, it ends now. Yeah. But then I didn't want to sound okay, like a psycho. Yeah, this is the what thing. What do you it's mean like it ends finding now? Finding that balance. Like finding I just know how girls think. Especially like, it's lucky you're an avoidant because imagine if you was... Oh my God, I'd have spiraled. I keep thinking, I keep, I'm like getting stuck. You've got your avoidant, you've got your... Secure, secure. and then you've got your insecure. <laughs> insecure. I would have spiraled. If you're insecure, fuck me, you're in deep shit. I absolutely would have spiraled, but I'm very... I don't like to tell people what to do. I think you need to allow people to show you their true colours, their mm -hmm, selves. Mm -hmm. Because if I'd said, this is making me uncomfortable, I think you should stop. Then it stopped. I'd always be going, did he stop because I asked him to? Mm -hmm. Or he wanted to for the sake of the relationship? Yeah. I hate that. I can't stand the thought of someone staying with you or hanging around because you've asked them to. Yeah, I want yeah. them to because they want to. And I think that's why I got so bitter because I was like, you're not an idiot, bro. You can see you lot are crossing the line. Why mm. do I have to tell you that? Mm. You know, you know what the boundaries are. Why do I have to have that chat with you? But then he was probably looking at me thinking, you can fucking see I'm unhappy and crying out for emotional connection. Why aren't you doing that? Mm. I've got a question. It's a bit out there. What happens if you end up having better sex with like a new person than your partner? 
because I wouldn't be able to let that shit go. <laughs> That's I, it's not happened for me, luckily. Right. But I definitely know, like, there are probably some girls out there who've sucked the fucking soul out of his dick in a way I don't. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm telling you, honestly. That's the ones you didn't want to let go. No, yeah. <laughs> Oh God, shit. But see, that would make me want to up my game. I'd be on like the internet doing fucking, watching the gay porn to get the blowjob lessons as we do. Oh my gosh. This is all the things yeah, like, it's not I'm happened. so competitive when it comes to the bedroom. Like, you know, in my frapple days, I was just like, oh. And I really love that spirit about you, man. It's really fucking admirable. What, competitive? Yeah, I just can't bring myself. I'm too stubborn. I'm like, mm. so no, I've never gone off and had sex with someone else and thought wow that was way better than what i've got at home yeah no and also remember i never i haven't i don't go off and do stuff with other blokes by myself it's not just sexual it's always as together well, yeah like, so but you it, would occasionally like meet up with them and be like oh like all oh, girls night because you'd mm -hmm. be with a girl yeah, and then yeah. you'd have like little slumber parties yeah and then not necessarily wang absolutely it's wow. not all about that sometimes there it's just that then, connection <laughs> it's not all about getting naked okay but yes definitely i know he's obviously had other sexual experiences that i know from description oh she did that oh okay fair uh, enough sorry now you're single would you do like the thruple situation where you just like throw yourself into something a little bit fun not so um, serious or i guess it would just be like you dating actually casually wouldn't it yeah would i as a single person, do the throuple thing. Yeah, actually, I think I would you because would. that's fun. the perfect opportunity. <laughs> it's super fun and no fucker expects anything from you. No. That's just what it that is. That is true. So I, I would. I would. As a single person, I'd do a throuple. I would do a throuple with two guys. Not because I want two dicks. Like, that. that's Send not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but can you just imagine like two guys being like, you're so beautiful and they're totally into you. And then one's opening the door, the other's pulling out the chair. One's got one's roses. One's picking up the tab for the one's drinks, the other's on the, the dinner. See? Babe, I hear you. But then I don't think I'd be interested in, oh, two dicks seems a lot. That's not my vibe. Spit rose. A lot of pressure. <laughs> 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 absolutely not uh, uh, no 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 well after talking about your gag reflex i don't know it's wild 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 so i think i would as a single person um but if <laughs> i were to re-enter a relationship i'd really really have to think why do i want this open relationship i'd really have to look at myself and ask myself that so you did it five years deep in your last one <clears throat> so you get into a new relationship how long would you leave it until you kind of get into an open relationship with someone I feel like you don't really know someone until you like a proper know. like 18 months to two yeah. years really. You don't know. For a proper foundation. It, it'd always be a sense check when I'm on the dating scene with people that I normally what I used to speak to. Yeah. I would always say, have you ever tried? What are your thoughts? And if I got a really negative reaction, I just wouldn't even bother dating that yeah. person. Not because I'm planning on it being an open relationship. Yeah. But I know me, I know my character, I know what I'm like. And at some point it may end there and I can't be asked to have the argument two years down the line mm. may as well find out what your values are right yeah. now do you like it do you not does it make because some people it makes them feel sick the actual thought of their partner merely hanging out with someone or having a coffee makes them feel sick let alone everything else mm. so i would always ask that question immediately have you ever done it you've done a threesome have you done this have you done that how do you feel about it so i know because what, why are we going to waste each other's time yeah. what happens in five years time and when i have the itch Especially then we're gonna break like, up. You really fall for someone as well, and then like, you know, you fucked up because of just like a not a quick win, but a thrill that was just too. And that's what it is. Yeah. A thrill. Is that it is worth what it? it always is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the thrill, the thrill of someone new, the thrill of being a different character, the thrill of. So, would you say so? If you are unhappy with your sex life and stuff, do you think it is a good idea no, or you don't? Absolutely not. No, I don't think it Being be. unhappy with your sex life, the worst fucking thing you can do is bring other people in. Yeah. It's like when broken relationships, people decide to have a baby because that's going to fix them. Mm -hmm. Like you're dumb as hell. That ain't going to work. So would you say like, to it test to your be, relationship almost, you want, would want to go to a sex club to see how you both react and feel with something like that? Try slow. But even going to a sex club is risky if you all ain't solid. Because you're in that environment. Even, <clears throat> it's going to be naked, <clears throat> other naked humans. Even just to like experience how you both feel. Not touching, just like watching from the sidelines, seeing what vibe. 
It's not a bad idea. Because how the hell, what I'm, what I'm getting at is like, if we've got a listener that's thinking, oh, I kind of want to like tiptoe into this and see how we both react and how we feel, but without making that move of like actually going to meet someone, like yeah, how would you kind of worm your way into it? Or do you just think you've just got to like be so solid and just know? I feel you have to be so solid and know. Mm. If you're thinking about dipping and it's you're not no. sure, it's not right. Right. It's not for you. Leave it alone. It's such a sensitive, sensitive topic. Yeah. You can't, this is not a thing that you dip. You're in or you're You'd out. You'd be so I gutted think. if you like a 10 year relationship was fucked Ended up over, over that. Yeah. Imagine if you guys went to dip your toe in, you loved it and your partner said that was shit. Mm. You're forever going to re- wishing you had what you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. your partner's going to be looking at you sideways like, oh my God, I know she had a really great time, but I don't want to go back. Am I now not enough for her? Or it could create one other person cheating or yeah. something like that. You can create some serious insecurities in your partner mm -hmm. if you love it and they don't. Mm -hmm. I just don't think you should dip. Mm -hmm. I think you need to go and be absolutely sure that's what you both want. And if one of you even has an inch of doubt, just don't do it. Ain't worth it. It's interesting because our spoke openly on the podcast last season about like you know me and my boyfriend had spoken about it and stuff mm -hmm. obviously since <laughs> said situation happened a, a couple of months or so ago a couple of months um for me i'm just like absolutely fucking not mm -mm. like there is no way it will ever get a look in again because your um, trust has already been broken anyway so that what's the point it's fresh and also like you just realize that he struggles with boundaries and struggles with like knowing where the line is and you never know in 20 years if we're still going it's, it's something you look at there and then but you also just think why risk it not worth it why risk it it's really really not worth it so but you did say sorry to interrupt you you did say you had somebody from work or something oh yeah no it was a lady <laughs> mm. it was where's she at now she yes She'd lived a miserable life for a really long time. She finally got the gusto, watched one of my episodes and thought, I'm going to try it. She didn't do it as a couple in the oh. end. Completely ditched her husband. <gasps> when it, I mean, he was an arsehole. He deserved to be ditched. I'm not going to lie. Why? Why was he the arsehole? Because he didn't want to do it? No. Or he was just a dick? Just a dick in okay. general. Okay. So if she'd even suggested it when they were still together, he would have shut it the fuck down. So she dumped him moved on with her life, Stella got her groove back and then she started the scene. She, I don't think she ever really explored it fully, but she definitely got involved in the website. I'm so happy and for her. I think her intention was to be the unicorn. Oh. <laughs> but I don't think, um, I don't think she ever went I with it. I think she's just living and loving this new life. Yeah. And sometimes that just gives you the confidence. It does. Especially like, I just think we all live once. Like, just fucking try it if it makes you feel good. Especially single life. It's like a good chance for you Your to... Your best bet to do something like that is when you're single. I think in a relationship, two people form a bond. And unless you're a very unique person, that bond is so fragile and easily broken. Mm. And with all the good intent in the world you're not going to know how your partner's feeling that day or how it's going to make them feel. Just don't yeah, do it. Yeah, Just yeah. don't. Yeah. Honestly, I know it looks exciting. We make it feel glamorous. You've got all these pages and connections and links, but all it takes is somebody feeling a little bit low about themselves. And that, that shit will tear your relationship apart if you're not careful. So if you need a frill, go skinny dipping in the sea. Yep. Go jump in someone's back garden and swim in the naked swimming pool naked. Whatever. Like whatever, whatever gives you kicks. That ain't but your you're answer. just not right. You overall, to summarize, it sounds like. Well, I don't know. To summarize, you're saying you'd do it again, but there are. It sounds like there's a lot of downs downsides, a lot of negatives. <clears throat> yeah, I would do it again because I think that's who I am naturally. Mm -hmm. But am I keen right now? Can I see myself doing it in the next five years? Probably not. Okay. But that's me talking about my current and most recent relationship. A different person could be different. I could meet someone and be like, yeah, you're definitely not going to cut it. Let's do something a little bit spicy. But then that's what I was saying about the intentions yeah. at the very start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you start your relationship that way, that's what it is. Yeah. Right? Yes, okay, I hear you. That's hear what you. it is. But would get I, from early. if I fully got back with my partner and everything was as it should be, would I want to do it? Probably not because we've been burnt. Mm. And we need to learn from mistakes. You can't just go back and pretend everything's going to be like it was before. It won't be. Absolutely You're not. Hitting yourself. Might be a complete different experience for you the second time. Mm. 
maybe who knows who knows but of course she will be updating us when it happens <laughs> when now it i'm gonna happens. be like girl go get on the uh, apps and whatnot but yeah it's a very interesting lifestyle but it ain't for everyone i think you just have to know that's my only advice know for sure it's right then do it any doubt don't bother thank you for opening up on that i really appreciate it that's i'm right. really surprised as well like I remember if for anyone that hasn't listened to season one, oh God, if it was like episode four or something. Yeah. Apologies for the audio and the video. It was like right at the beginning. They're all going to go back and to find it, we aren't they? Now, but we love growth, baby. Um, but yeah, it's just so funny listening, to, not funny, but just surreal listening to you talk now yeah. compared to them because obviously you were sharing like all the exciting stories, which of course we wanted all the juicy gossip, but mm -hmm. it's just interesting to see like the reality of the impact that actually it can have you in that. Yeah. And I'm gonna be real. Uh, do you remember a few months ago we went to the the club? Oh shit, yeah. Did you even, you didn't even talk about that on the podcast properly. No, I don't think I did. And I'll be honest with you, me being who I am, I'd obviously been going through changes, health, not well, and yeah. the relationship was fucking topsy-turvy anyway. Did you do that to try and kind of like kick in a bit of spice? Yes, like... I definitely wanted to see, am I even still me? Mm -hmm. Do I still like the same stuff I used to like? I felt like I was losing myself a little bit. Yeah. And with that, the fun and the spark in the relationship had faded. I just didn't know who the fuck I was. And I thought, let me try and, can I reignite the old me? Yeah. Went to the club, um, this event that was put on for couples and all of that. And it was awful. Mm. Everything about it sucked. The people were fucking weird. They were super clicky. Before, if I walked in a room, there's big beds, people banging everywhere. I'd mm. be like, oh my God, this is great. <laughs> but really, well and truly, I, I just kind of found myself like cringing. It repulsed me. Just the scenes changed so much. Yeah. I, I don't know whether... Oh, fucking hell, I know. We're younger. We're, we're a lot older now. People are less attractive. They've got fucking <laughs> flab shit hangs. Like, people aren't that hot. And it actually kind of made me feel a little bit sick. Oh, no. The women are fake titty, fake... Look, I'm not knocking anyone, yeah, you know. Babe, We've I've all had enhancements. Tits, like. <laughs> but it just... It was too much. Too much. All in one room, everywhere. Mm. Maybe one woman in underwear and her fake tits, great. But I just felt it was fucking overwhelming. They were yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guys were everywhere with their weird... It, it's that expectation now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like what I saw. And it was weird. Like, I would think nothing of jumping into a hot tub with multiple naked couples in the past. And it, now I was like... Ew, is there body fluids in there? That's mm. so disgusting. Oh, wow. That's Things a change like that, for you, girl. Honestly, made me sick. Yeah. I didn't want to walk in the big room with the hot tub. I didn't even go with in. With the floating dick? You didn't yeah, want the hot tub with no the floating, floating dick? dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. <coughs> that killed me off. <coughs> killed it just, me off. the whole thing felt different. Didn't like it. Didn't enjoy it. Didn't, didn't really even want to look at the nakedness. It made mm. me sick. Mm. And even like Leon was like, yo, that was a vibe. I don't felt like you were into that. I was like, no, I wasn't. So he enjoyed it. I, I think he was just mediocre. Right. Okay. I, don't, there was, I don't know. There was nothing to enjoy because Maybe the place was weird. Maybe you it, babe. Yeah, I think so. Wow. I've matured. <laughs> <laughs> I've matured. I've grown. What the fuck is this? I don't like it. Oh. Uh, I'm not happy. I, do you know what though? I'm I feel like at that point you definitely weren't in your like happiest high vibed energy. It was a shit time. Confident. Nah. And the thing is, if you're so low fucking vibed, yeah. nothing, 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 no sex, no dick, nope. no pussy can pull you out of that hole. Like it is all that inner work and it will just take time. Do I think you'll bounce back into it? Absolutely. fucking lutely That's what I want to hear, I do girl. think you, that is your true you and I'm here for it. But I do think it's just going to be like your time now to yeah. find you mm. again and just... Get your space back. Yeah, I think I was searching for the old me, probably in the wrong places. But I'm glad I went. I'm glad I yeah, experienced good. that because now I know I'm not just, I can't switch it on and off. Mm. It has to feel, feel. Good. good. And it fucking didn't. <laughs> Bunch of weirdos, honestly. 
Well, I hope this has given everybody a good insight into open relationships. I've definitely feel like I've got more of an in-depth. It's made me definitely not want to do it now. Let me put it that way. Whereas before our first chat, I was like, yeah, I'm this sounds this. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it just, I think it's important to like weigh up the pros and cons because really is. everyone, like you say, just thinks about the sex and the fun yep. times and the buzz and the excitement. But what comes up has to go come down. Come down. Yeah. And I can't sit here and sell a dream because mm. it's not always a dream. Mm. Communicate, communicate, communicate is key. If you don't do that, you're fucked. So drop us a comment and let us know your thoughts. Has it made you want to start an open relationship? Have you watched the uh, episode in season one? Um, Have you been in an open relationship? Like what's your feedback? Because it could be a completely different view. And it it makes me think of open relationships. When things end, it can't end like oh i've had a great time thank you like it either yeah. continues or ends badly in my in my mind there's definitely it can it can end well because yeah. i've ended many relationships with women i was sexual with and it stopped becoming sexual and it was lovely mm. but that's because i'm me in it yeah some other people just can't control themselves and it has to end with shit in the fan Intent is absolutely everything. Yeah. If I, it ended beautifully because we never intended it to be more than what it was. Mm. It's the minute that intent changes and then you're fucked. I love that. I love that. But it can. I don't want to put people off. You just need to be very fucking careful. And I think that's final words from Queen on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, leave a comment. Um, over and out on that. Over and out.